I haven't Not been to Diamond to City to in people, years. I'll tell you. Nothing's changed. Diamond City surplus! There you are. <laughs> Was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. What's inside? Caps, meds, food. Enough to keep this city running. It's things we want. Things everyone wants. You get in on this, there's plenty for you. You got it? So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. Tell me about this security office. It's built into some old locker rooms, <laughs> and it smells the pot. This isn't a maximum security prison, and it isn't heavily guarded. No problem for someone like you, right? Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. You and your mercenary friend keep your guns in your pants. Kabish? Heard you rescued Valentine. Good work. Old sin scared the hell out of me. But Nikki, he ain't like those instant Mel. psychos. Mel here. Can I help you? Do you come here often? You know, they always say you'll meet that special someone in the last place you expect. So why are you here? You want something from me, right? I am getting you out of here. If so, maybe you shouldn't be announcing it so every guard in Diamond City can hear. Um, totally unrelated. But I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. You look a little roughed up. Should talk to Doc Crocker over at the Mega Surgery Center. Officer? You got something to say? Why is Mel in here? Him? He was caught trying to reprogram the robot bartender at the tap house to give him free drinks. Just between you and me? I would totally do that if I knew how. I was hoping to get Mel at a lockup. No way. He's going to serve his time just like everyone else. Hey, officer. You got something to say? I'll give you 300 caps to let Mel out of there. Keep your voice down, will you? I shouldn't be doing this. But fine. Need him that bad. All right. You're free to go, buddy. First Let's it was theirs, get out now it's ours.
Hey, you were the one that walked that freedom trail, right? That's good. Go, freedom. If you're heading outside the wall, you might want to stock up at Commonwealth Weaponry first. Thanks for getting me out, I guess. So, you're Bobby's new toy. Yep, this year's hottest gift. Get one before they're gone. And what a gift you'd be. God, that woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait, like, a day? What's the job? You've worked jobs with Bobby before? Enough to know she's not the most trustworthy person around. The team may change, but every job comes with the same set of cryptic instructions as the next. <laughs> yeah, you'd have better luck milking a rabid Yaogwai than getting a straight answer out of Bobby. How'd you like to help break into the Diamond City strong room? Well, damn. That's a big score. Could be enough caps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in the end. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place.